mother of a power supply, 50 amps or, or so at 50 volts. Here's Paul. Paul's hooking up the um, electrolysis. My home built one. His home built electrolysis machine. He's adding his. Uh, what kind of solution is that, Paul? Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. We're using as an electrolyte. And we're going to bring both the hyd hydrogen and the oxygen into the uh, into the mixing chamber, and then we're going to put it into this foam, which is just sunlight dishwashing liquid and water. Uh, I'll put it on the floor, and we might need to add either some of this or some of this. We this is probably going to work best. And so there's about 8 amps of power going into the device and you can see the device bubbling away. So hopefully hydrogen is coming out one of these and oxygen is coming out the other. Well it looks like we're getting foam out the tube anyway. <laughs> oh, 20 amps. 20 amps. Shall I light the top, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 400 watts going in there. Can I light the top? Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, the flame! Oh, Jesus! Enough oh, of the flame! Cool! <laughs> Tell you, I don't want to melt your pipes. It's still going. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! I need to fix it. Yeah, I off the valve. Shut the valve. Yeah, we don't want to melt the pipes. There wasn't supposed to be any oxygen wow. on this side. No, no. We'll light one side of it. Oh. Get a good bit of the hydrogen flame going there. Oh, well, that's good. It actually puts itself out. Put it out. And, the, and the power cables are held on with bulldog clips. <laughs> that's the electrolyzer built. Plates are stainless steel. <laughs> and a, uh, acrylic, um, acrylic separators with a uh, mesh weave in between to separate the oxygen and hydrogen from one side to the other. And uh, amazingly enough, enough hydrogen coming out to sustain a flame sitting on the top there. Which is not bad going. <laughs> about four to five hundred watts coming out of our power supply. Birthbusters! Right! Yeah, they kick their ass. Next up, the hydrogen <laughs> foam. Let's take this one little tube. Cut it in half. No, I well, put, put both ends in and then put a hole in the you don't even, Yeah, you don't even cut it in half. You just, we just punch a hole in the end. This is where you need the blue tap. Yeah, well I was going to do just, just stuff that in there, right? Yeah, and seal you that need the blue tap to seal pressurize out, it. Seal that with blue tap. Okay, alright. Uh, uh, it's not. Here we have got Keith uh, using blue tape to seal the small tube into the larger tube. I'm worried about the force firing directly above. Is it the quality? Yeah, it's quality. Yeah, it's quality. Yeah, it's quality. He could prove us wrong today, though. Oh, yeah. No, no. More okay, this is the complicated part. We're adding the sunlight dishwashing liquid to the water. Whoops. Oh, no, he's putting, he's going to put too much. Get the mix is right. Right, now we're ready to go. Yes, Paul's sir. cutting a hole in the pipe where the hydrogen and oxygen are going to mix and bubble through the water. Now the reason we're doing it this way is so we get to keep the gases separate all the way down to the bottom just in case we get a flashback. So they don't actually mix until we get down here. So hopefully everything will be nice and safe and I won't end up destroying my electrolyzer by accident. It's a good theory. <laughs> He's only worried about, this, about his electrolyzer. I'm actually more worried about this guy. <laughs> is this going to bubble enough? I think it's going to bubble enough. Well, let's try it. I'll put a lot in there. It's well, it's going to blow out that way. It's a nice right? and you see can't get power supply. Yeah. Bubble up. Last. Yeah. I guess the real question is, will they stay in there? No, it's held that vehicle. I was just going to lose it anyway. Bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, that's pretty good. There's no foam coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, look, it's just that's like that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not like that. Who's going to match? Oh, we need to get a, a chance there. Well, I want to get real, this real guy to get through. To start with. We'll go for about... What are you running there? Uh, about 8 amps into there? So we want to get about that's 10 centimetres to start with that. Quite a decent bubble rate, actually. Hey, we... Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, Gary was smart. I've ever heard. 
it's not the loudest one I've ever had. Because this puts me in uh, mind of a time when I was about, ooh, uh, 10, doing a similar experiment. And I was at the end of the hydrogen tube and it flashed back into my water trap. And yeah. the blue thing to bits. And I was deaf for five minutes. Yeah, I'm deaf in this area at the moment. This here. So, kiddies, if you're doing this at home, get some really, really good earmuffs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's loud. Actually, preferably don't do it at home, you know? Yeah, you know, else else <laughs> All I can hear is a high frequency noise. I can hear a high frequency noise like, Wee! in my ears. And this ear sounds rattly. Like, wow. So, do you want to try it again? Oh, hell yes! yes. <laughs> Let's do that again! Once we all recovered. <laughs> <laughs> but we need, uh, yeah, right. Everyone's yeah, need ear buffs. <laughs> we need lots of ear buffs to release fingers and ears. Well, cotton noise. wool. Cotton wool will be good. Oh, there's, there's one, two, you've got one. I'm going with fingers. I've got a pair of earplugs yeah. in my bag if you want, want that. Oh, fingers? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's right. really bad. Oh, well, yeah, that's good. Here with this experiment, we're going to be getting <coughs> the hydrogen only instead of the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can't hear a shit. <laughs> Yeah, what we have here, we've got the hydrogen bubbling into this one, we've got the oxygen tube down as well. I know it looks like a bottle of beer, but it's actually got water in it, and that's just to equalise the pressure between the two tubes, so we don't have gas pissing out one side and not coming out the other. That's the sole purpose of that. Yeah, well, this time... It's down a bubbler. I've got earplugs. Well, I haven't. They're safety Where's glasses. Where's my earplugs? Because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> have a very good reason too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very important! <laughs> Learned important lesson in the last one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And, and safety liquid. <laughs> yeah, should we give that a go? Hello, eh? Okay. That's, uh, Now we've just got to get out of the foam to be a bit more stable, that's all. Just popping. What's the natural form of glycerin in our, in our, in our kitchen? Mmm, don't know. Can't like use sugar, sugar or... Probably buy some of the too much, actually. Yeah. Okay. Or you just squirt a lot more sunlight and liquid in there. Well, I think we've got too much. Yeah, we've got too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, can, you can get too much, right? Because it, you know, it becomes so strong. Well, I think we need to add water all right. to the top. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. So just somebody fill up a bottle of empty bottle of uh, actually, beer. Actually, beer might work quite well too. It holds good head. No, it doesn't hold head. The, the protein content actually supports the foam. Well, you want me to waste this good quality Bex? Yeah, I mean, if, if we were drinking Skylight, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! You're serious, man. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Just think how nice it's going to smell when it did. Can somebody fill this, <laughs> fill this up with water and get another bit? <laughs> I need a foam cover on that thing. That's, that's yeah, those bubbles just aren't. Um, no, 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 that's just crap. They're, 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 not, they're not holding together, are they? Yeah, we need to get some. Uh, Increase the volume. It's a good bubble mix. It's a I bubble. Mean, oh, honestly, what, what could be better with just bubble mix? Like, why don't we go across the road? I'm sure that's got bubble mix. Designed for this purpose. Why don't we just get bubble bath? Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Got it. Yes. That's the one. Okay, let's get some bubble bath. All right. Give that a rest. At the moment, we will try bubble bath. You should have said.